Hello everybody, I hope you're doing well. I am Bolt Matrix, and today we're taking a look at Transformers Legacy Evolution Bombshell. This is the final Insecticon that we're getting in the Legacy line that we know of so far. I really enjoy this figure, and I have been looking forward to him for, you know, forever. Since they originally announced Kickback, and I got to review Kickback, yeah, I'm super happy that we now have all three of them. And Bombshell looks fantastic but i do have one major complaint i'll talk about that in a little bit overall solid robot mode it looks good i like it a lot head sculpt is amazing like just flat out amazing i love the way they managed to get the look of this head they've got those bright eyes the slats in the mouth and just the overall head sculpt is perfect there is a little bit of a lock for the little bug antenna piece. You could flip it up and you got even more head. And the figure's entire head structure swivels. Can't look up and down, but I'm okay with that. This antenna bit that is on the top of his head is really neat because it folds forward and then it clicks into place exactly where it should which is greatly appreciated. One thing I do find kind of weird is that there is this pin at the front of the figure. What is this pin for? It's almost as if this chest piece should open up, but it doesn't. Is that just holding plastic together? What's the deal with that, Hasbro? Like, seriously. Um, folks, if you've taken apart this figure, let me know what that pin is for, because I just get this stinky suspicion that we're going to get repaints of these in diaclone colors, and then these chests are going to open. I wouldn't put it past Hasbro. Posability is pretty darn good. Head is on the swivel. There is a ball joint in, or swivel joint in the shoulder, and then that arm can move in and out. You can move the bug leg in and out. Swivel just below the shoulder. Bend at the elbow is over 90 degrees. No fist articulation, unfortunately. Torso swivel, mainly used for the transformation. Legs can kick forward and back at 90 degrees. Can kick out at 90 degrees. There's a thigh swivel. Bend at the knee, just over 90 degrees. And then ankle rocker, which is pretty darn okay. It's not 90 degrees, but it works. Only issue I have with the figure, posability-wise, is he needs bigger heels. That flat foot, you would think, actually would work well, but it doesn't really, because look, and forgive the white balance, see, the foot is actually jutting off the back of the, of the well, the heel, just enough to make it slightly top-heavy or forward heavy or the darn bug man fall over the blaster the figure comes with is a nice nod to his original generation one gun and then he also comes with these two little blaster bits that evil fusion onto the main gun and then he ends up with this more pew for your pound pew 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 or you could go wonky pew. There's lots of fun to be had with Bombshell. You can pose him, you get, he stays in most pose. Most of the joints are pretty tight, which is nice, it's pleasant. It's just a fun figure to hold and to handle. And yeah, it's just cool and I like it. Now, something I don't particularly like is the amount of reused material in Bombshell from Shrapnel. The parts that are the same, well, other than coloring, the paint is different, or I should say the injection, the injected plastic coloring is different. So the arms from the, not the shoulders, but the, the connection from just below the shoulder all the way down to the fist, those are exactly the same on both figures. And everything from the crotch down on the same, on both figures is exactly the same. There are the same molds. The only bits that are different are the entire upper torso and the shoulders those are the only different parts on both of these figures i kind of get why they did that but it's still a bummer because that affects bombshell negatively in the bug mode all right transformation time to start off with take the arms and fold them just a little bit away from the body and flip the fists up into the forearms then grab the shoulders and push them back and they will snap into place behind his back Take the little dome above his head, fold it down, and push it into place, and then ratchet out the front 
of his buggy head. Now we'll take the arms and just turn them so that the little pegs are on the bottom. And then those four, those holes on the forearms, we will need to disconnect the little blaster bits and peg them into the forearms because those are actually going to be the rear legs. Yes, yes they are. That's, you, you'll see. All right, for the bottom of the vi of the, of the vehicle mode, oh, geez. For the bottom, take the legs and push them together at the little connector on the heels. Take the torso, flip it around 180 degrees. Then come to the area that were the shins, open them up, push the feet down, put your thumb at the back or the bottom of the feet, and then push the entire figure back like that. And then make sure that everything's lined up correctly and then fold the figure up at the knees and bring everything forward and they will peg into their two slots at the very bottom let me see if i can actually get a light on there see those black slots that are on the sides of the crotch piece there are two pegs that will peg in like that and then we bring the arms down and there is a peg just on the outside of the forearm that pegs loosely on the inside of the panel here and there's another peg on the other side that pegs into the hip I can never get these to peg in very tightly um, I'll get them in and then I'll pick up the figure and they'll pop right out and it, it's just not pleasant but that's the bug mode now I will be the first to admit that I'm not a huge fan of the bug mode it just doesn't look right it looks off it looks disproportioned and that's where i was talking about those pieces for shrapnel come into play they they just make the figure look wrong it doesn't look awful mind you but it does look out of place something i really wish hasbro had bothered to do was to actually cover or create some kind of cover for the sides of the head because i mean the head's clearly visible right there and that does take away from the figure quite a bit or at least for me it does it might not for you again just the back of this bug mode looks super weird for me but i still like it i, I still think the bug rhinoceros beetle mode works it's just poorly proportioned. Now one thing that's driving me nuts or has been driving me nuts is Kickback's giant flame bits. They behave like they're supposed to peg into something and make like a giant sword or something. But I have not been able to figure out for the life of me how that's supposed to work. The only one or the only weapon that came or, or comes with either of these bug boys is bombshells and that then pegs over like that but then there's nowhere else for the gun to peg into you can't peg it into the back here because that doesn't work and kickback's gun doesn't peg in back there and there's nothing to you know peg onto i mean you could technically peg this there but then how are you going to hold it and where the hell does this go i mean he's got a kickback has a freaking tommy gun so yeah, what the heck? I mean, what are these pieces even for? They they look like they're supposed to peg together, but they don't. You can't peg them together. So what do you do with them? Let me know down in the comments if you can think of a way to make a giant weapon or sword thing out of this. That, that'd be pretty cool. Now, I just realized I goofed on something. There's a little thing here on the back behind the head. If you flip it up, and that is the bug mode's mouth. So yeah, you flip that up and he's got a mouth now. Neat. Something I find funny is that all the bugs, you mount the weapons in different places on the on shrapnel and bombshell, they go on the back. But then Kickback's the only one that has it store away nice and neat underneath of him. So I do like that a little bit better than just having them on the back, but eh, who cares? They're just the weapons. They all look good and the bugs look good. Transformation back is just simple. Unpeg the gun, unpeg the legs, fold them down, and flip them all the way forward. Move the arms out of the way, turn the legs around, grab the shins, close them up, flip the feet out, grab the arms, flip them out, and snap them into place. Flip out the fists, and reveal the head. 
Overall, I really do like Bombshell. Yes, he shares parts with Shrapnel, but I'm okay with it because the effect in robot mode works very well. The effect in vehicle, vehicle mode, geez, in bug mode is a little bit sus, but it's fine. It's fine. So folks, I strongly recommend picking up Bombshell, especially if you picked up the other Insecticons, you might as well pick this guy up. I picked this figure up over at thecommandstore.com. I believe he is still available, so head on over there and check it out. As always, I have been Bolt Matrix. Let me know what you think of Bombshell down in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.